Hello and welcome to the New Times News Weekly Review where we always take a look at top five stories that made headlines throughout the week. I am Levi Mutanganshur. Rwanda was ranked sixth among countries that handled the COVID-19 outbreak best. The COVID performance index by the Australia-based Lowy Institute ranked 98 countries and found that smaller populations and capable institutions were the most important factors in managing the global pandemic. Rwanda is the only African country in the top 10, with the other countries on the list including Thailand, Cyprus, Iceland and Australia. The Rwanda Biomedical Center announced that the positivity rate in the ongoing grassroots COVID-19 testing in Kigali stands at 4%. The exercise kicked off Saturday last week and targets to test 125 people in each of the 161 cells of Kigali. On the fifth day of the testing, RBC said that almost 15,000 people had been screened and of them, 629 were positive of the virus. In other news, Rwanda is set to begin flights to Central Africa Republic's capital Bangui next week. Effective Wednesday, February 3rd, the national carrier will be flying to Bangui twice a week with flights operating on Wednesdays and Sundays. The airline says that the development is informed by identification of a lucrative market and is aimed at stimulating trade in the region. As we proceed, Minister of ICT and Innovation Paola Ingabide has been named on board of Global Body for Bridging Digital Divide. Dubbed Essential Digital Infrastructure and Services Network or Edison Alliance, the body was launched to accelerate digital inclusion, address inequality and connect critical sectors of the economy. Ingabide was named alongside four other world leaders including Chairman and CEO of Verison, Mastercard Executive Chair, Executive Vice Chairperson of Apollo Hospitals Group and the American billionaire Robert Smith, Founder and CEO of Vista Equity Partners. Now in sports news, the national football team Amavubi will take on Guinea this Sunday in the quarterfinals of Chan after a stunning 3-2 win over Togo. Amavubi are winless in their last three meetings with Guinea in all competitions, with two encounters having ended in draws, while Guinea won once during the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers in 2018. Well, this marks the end of this week's New Times News Weekly Review. We thank you very much for being with us. We just want to remind you that this was just a review and therefore, in case you need more details on these stories and many others, kindly visit newtimes.co.rw. Don't forget to also subscribe to our YouTube channel, The New Times Rwanda. I am Levi Mutanganshuro.